How are you feeling? Oh, my sweat is starting to drift a little bit, but wow. That was hot. Ooh, super hot fire. Super hot fire. And the sun is sinking low. There's the train station. And we have consolidated successfully everything into one moderately sized camera bag and my backpack here, my satchel thing. So we're, we're sort of practicing minimalism because we're trying to lower our carbon footprint for a weekend. Thank you. This man on the bus. He's a very nice man. He stops us and let us cross the street. Yeah. This thing it doesn't register your rear room. Doscientos y cinco. Oh, nice and cool. Oh. Oh, it's cute. And look, they have it's yellow nice cool. robes. This is a, what would you call it, like a micro towel? This is like a... Yeah, it's literally... Definitely just, a mini... Just a room? A mini towel. Oh, look. It's little, but it's super cute. Oh. What is that? 12 ounce what? Steep mug. Oh. I guess they, I guess you get a mug. Got the munchies. We got you covered. Sweet savory spinach. What? Does it really say got the munchies? It's all yours. 25 plus 6. Oh, it's if you want it. We're on our way to Fogo de Chao. To Chao. Is that in a party? So Fogo de Chao is considered to be one of the best Brazilian steakhouses in the world. It actually comes from Brazil. It's a Brazilian chain. I guess there was one in Brazil. And they're in a bunch of other places across North America and South America. Mexico City, Los Angeles, Dallas, New York City. So we're going to see what it's all about. How fun would it be to go trick-or-treating at all these doors? That'd be so fun. I've arrived. We are very excited. Our waitress just came by and explained everything to us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Look at that gooey. So cheesy. Okay, let me just say these utensils are like. Heavy duty. These look so good. We get these all the time, but like from the frozen section at the, you know, like a supermarket. Oh my gosh. You can't even compare. It's super cool. These are so good. All right, so we got some smoked salmon. We got some some cured meats, a little bit of salad. I got a bunch of cheese, roasted garlic, some sort of a chickpea salad, couscous salad, um, arugula. And so we got the first cut of meat. It looks really good. I don't really see myself as like a carnivore. 
more, but. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right, but then we got lamb, which I love, love lamb. There we go. Some juicy, tender lamb. Mm. So tender. Yeah, you can really tell it's been marinated for a while. Super good. Right, so we're gonna try the rice and beans. Is it just like regular rice and beans? No, it's very, very porky. Put that on top, huh? That's really good together, right? Texture's a little weird, but I like it. But then again, it is a Dominican judging, so. <laughs> Now it's time for Dave's favorite, the sausage. So you know naturally, David goes to the buffet that they have, and they have all these tiny, cute little red peppers. So he takes a whole scoopful and puts it on his plate. And um, he decided to try it with some meat. And instead of just putting one of the peppers on the meat, he put like, I don't know, five or six. Oh, this is plain mignon. A little bit of chili. Delicious. I might have to uh, resuscitate him back to life later on today. We'll see. You just have to be careful because uh, last time I did this with a different one, I woke up at like three in the morning, completely parched. Because this like all the salt it just sucks all the moisture right out of you when you're like like SpongeBob. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Are you at the wall? Yep. And we've been here for how long? So they actually filled us up pretty good in like 45 minutes. We're before pretty full. It's hard. You're, you're waiting, you're so hungry. And then you come in and you're just like, wow. Good stuff. The meal is done. I probably could have sat there longer and tried to consume more, but I probably would not enjoy tomorrow very much. We're supposed to walk around Boston more. I did have quite a few very nice cuts of meat though, so I have nothing to complain about. All in all, pretty awesome experience. A little expensive, I had to save up for a long time to come here, but uh, it's something that you do like once a year, or maybe once every few years as like a, for milestones, then um, I'd say it's probably worth it. It was so much fun. We had a really good time. Where do we go?